In this video, we're going to be using Heritage Hill, Washington, and we're going to have a chat. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, Use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at LEAF. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back. And thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to do a head shake, but stick around because I have a lot of important things to say, some gratitude to express. I don't know when this video will air, but I just wanted to express my gratitude and get some things off my chest today. We're going to be using Heritage Hill, Washington which is a beautiful, beautiful soap. They have since relabeled since I bought this particular one. And this one is uh, tobacco, bay, jasmine, patchouli, sweet orange, beautiful scent. And this is a head shave, so I'm not gonna give you all the details and the ingredients. Um, you can go back, back and look at my previous shave videos uh, for that information, or I'll certainly link the product and you can go find that yourself. I'm gonna shave the dome today with the Chic Extreme 3. And this one is the, uh, Flex ball or whatever they call it. I can't remember to tell you the truth. Uh, but I really like using this because this bends and sort of, you know, hugs the contours of your head. Now, I had another gentleman who said he didn't like <laughs> the razor for that purpose, but I love it for that reason. And I think it's really awesome for head shaving if you use carts from time to time. And uh, I'm going to be using the HCNC bowl. And let's go ahead and miss the dome and we'll get into it. First of all, thank you for joining me. I don't know when this video will air probably sometime around the holidays. So I hope this video finds you and your family well. I hope you're enjoying many blessings. You're enjoying one another. We'll try to air this somewhere around the holidays. And I'm really feeling the holidays right now. Right now it's the beginning of December, but it's just dawned on me. You know, if you have relatively good health and you have your family, you're really fortunate. There's a lot of people struggling right now. And we've talked about that a lot this year and I'm just super grateful to still be here and to still be able to do this and I'm super grateful that many of you other um, over the years hung around even through the rough times you know when I wasn't so happy and I wasn't so uplifting and I have to say I've never felt better about doing this content and being part of this community and advocating strongly for something that I truly love which is traditional shaving I just absolutely love it the brush for today was a gift from Gray Dog, and I barely know Gray Dog. He just comments on the videos, and he sent me this brush, and it's made of bamboo, and it's just a treasured gift. So thank you, Gray Dog. I, I feel so grateful to have people who have sent things like that over the years, and it just it means a lot, and, and I truly am grateful, and I, I just appreciate you all. It means so much to me that you folks keep coming back and watching the videos and spreading the good word of traditional shaving yourselves. And as I mentioned before, we have a lot of people, um, family members of mine. The last three years have been pretty rough for me. My life was turned upside down in a number of ways. And then uh, about a year or so ago, my mother-in-law uh, got cancer or got diagnosed with cancer. My mother got diagnosed with cancer. My nephew got diagnosed with cancer. My aunt passed away from cancer. My uncle had passed away from cancer a uh, year or two prior to that he was only in his 50s and it was really it has really been a challenging last few years and the years prior to that were challenging as well and at that time i wasn't in the the, the best mindset um, and since then i've worked really diligently to to keep that attitude up and to be positive and to try to be grateful for every single day and every single comment for those of you who have something positive to add I really appreciate you, and it's not lip service. I truly mean it. I look forward to your comments. And I also want to say to the folks who are out there who who are dragging people and, and tearing people down and, and being negative, um, once in my life, uh, several years ago, you can go back and watch some of those older video videos, they were not positive. And honestly, um, I'm so glad that I found a different perspective in life because when I look back on those now, it's like, oh, that's cringy. You know, it's cringy. And I want to thank some of the people. I'm not going to do it by name, but some of you who are out there, maybe you're having a negative period of time in your life. And maybe you're saying nasty things even about me. People do it all the time. 
I want to say this. You all have inspired me to be better. And you're the inspiration for me not being the way you are. <laughs> so I hope that you will find a new perspective and your life will change as mine has for the better. And there's a lot of negative stuff still going on in my life, but I refuse to let that consume me. And you people who I still see from time to time, being negative and, and just dragging people, you're the inspiration for everything I never want to be. And so thank you, because sometimes you need positive examples. Um, many of you are positive examples every single day, but also you need to see sort of the other side of things to realize I never want to be that way. I never want to be miserable that way. And I have been miserable in the past. I was never a nasty person, don't get me wrong, but I was negative and consumed with negativity and politics and all this stuff and just, you know, assuming the worst, it's just a terrible place to be. And I thank you folks who, who are that way for showing me how not to be. And I hope, I truly hope you'll find another way because believe me, embracing what you love is far more powerful than being against everything all the time. It is a drag to be that way. Believe me. All right. So, for the rest of you, and let's get started with the shave because we're several minutes in and we've yet to put razor to the dome here. For the rest of you who are constantly here or consistently and you leave a positive comment, you leave your thoughts and feelings about the hobby, you're trying to spread the good word, you're doing your very best. I can't thank you enough. And I mean that truly and sincerely. You mean something to me. What you're doing means something to me. And I have never been happier doing what I'm doing, um, advocating for this wonderful hobby, showcasing these products like Heritage Hill today. And you are a big part of that. You know, you, you lift me up every single day. And I thank you for it. I truly thank you for it. To the friends that I talk to every single day, and I'm not going to name everyone by name because I'll assuredly leave someone else. To the people that I speak to every single day, thank you so much. I appreciate your counsel. I appreciate all that you do. The laughs, the camaraderie, the, the brotherhood. It just means the world to me. You all know who you are. Thank you so much. I want. I am going to name a person um, during this shave. Kim Gray, a, a person who is facing uh, a very rough disease. It is very sobering, but she inspires me. She inspires me with her positive attitude and outlook, and she just keeps fighting and fighting and fighting. Thank you, Kim. You inspire me. Also, I guess I would be remiss if I didn't mention Taylor. Taylor, who is, uh, you know, I will post this video in the Head Shavers Ball Group, and all of you know Taylor if you're in the, this group. He is an inspiration. He's going through a battle with cancer right now and others are too who I don't know personally every single one of you who are fighting um, you're an inspiration there's another gentleman I think his name is Jim Judy I apologize if I get that wrong I don't know him personally I don't know him well but I know he's also facing this struggle and because I see posts from time to time you folks are an inspiration keep going keep fighting um, it's it's extremely tough because I'm seeing it in, with my own family my mother and my mother-in-law and uh, all you folks are an inspiration to me, helps me be a better person. Of course, my family, my wife, um, you know, they, they inspire me to try to be better. I don't always hit the mark, as you well know. You know, I am an open book. I'll, I'll admit to all the things I've done wrong, you know. And believe me, there's a plenty. There's a plenty. But I'm grateful to have the opportunity to still be here after all this time and learning, you know, folks, just because you get a little older, it doesn't mean you can't change and change your perspective. You know, I'm in my 50s now and, and it took until just a couple of years ago for me to just really understand how precious life is and how grateful you should be if you're relatively healthy or have the opportunity to interact with people on a daily basis. It is, you're blessed. So embrace those blessings every single day and be thankful and believe me, 
No one is more thankful than me, which is why I'm trying in my best way to convey my most sincere gratitude today. That it was This was really the goal of this video. It wasn't so much to talk about the products, although I love these products, you know I do. It was, it was basically to say, thank you, every single one of you. Even, like I said before, even the ones who inspire me, <laughs> inspire me not to be a particular way. I mean, there's value in all types, but I will say this. And I've been saying this um, quite a bit in recent months. You know, there's a lot of ugliness in this world and we don't need to add to the ugliness of the world. So if you are one of those people who's inspired me not to be like you, um, and if you continue to be that way, you are not welcome here. And you are not welcome in this hobby as far as I'm concerned. Now, if you make a change, there's always a way back. There's always a way back, but um, we have cha we have real challenges in our lives, and and you being nasty is not one that any of us should have to, have to deal with. So I'm going to again call for my brothers and sisters who make content, who run groups. If you see these people acting this way, acting a fool, dragging people constantly, get rid of them. We don't need them. We don't need them. But also be mindful that everybody deserves a second chance. I have. Who hasn't in their lives? And so keep an open mind. And, and if sometime later the change has been made and they're trying to work with us and embrace the good, uh, then, you know, there's, there's, there should be a path back as well. I believe in redemption strongly because haven't we all needed it, you know? So I believe very strongly in that. And where would I be without it, without forgiveness of family and friends and even folks within the community? So if you're one of those people who have been around for, <laughs> you know, a long time and you've been through the sort of negative years, thank you for staying with me. I appreciate you. And if you're new, thank you. I appreciate you as well. But I know it wasn't always easy for those of you who have been here for a long time. So, you know, there's a, there's a special gratitude for you people because I completely understand that you don't want to get on here and hear somebody, you know, carrying on and just laying down negative vibes all the time. None of us need that. And so my apologies to every one of you who have been here during that time. You know, my apologies. Um, I certainly recognize that was not my best, you know. But I also recognize we have a lot to give yet. You know, and every day we strive to be better. So that is our goal every single day. Try to be a little better than the day before. Try to be a blessing. And I hope that I'm, I'm achieving that through these videos, through social media, through our conversations. That is a personal goal of mine of which I do not always reach. I am my biggest critic, you know. <laughs> And so sometimes I find I'm not meeting my own expectations. But you can always work harder, you know, and so, so that's what we do. Work hard every th single day. And I want to thank um, also the, the folks in the community who are making these really fine products, um, like Heritage Hill. I've had the pleasure of speaking with the gents at Heritage Hill a number of times, and they are fantastic people. You know, I remember speaking to John from Heritage Hill on the phone, and... Uh, it was like, hey, I, I have family in North Carolina. If your mother needs a meal or needs, you know, ran to an appointment or anything, let me know. We will, we will help. And I tell you what, that means a lot to me. So thank you, John, from Heritage Hill. And there has been a number of people offer me that kind of assistance, and I thank you truly. It is not needed at this time because we're all, you know, the family, we're all pitching in and doing everything we, we can, but I appreciate that you've done it, and it does mean a lot to me. It really does. So thank you so much. I, I just can't tell you how much it means. It, um, and I hope that, I know I've you know said it a million times, but can you ever express gratitude too much? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we need more of that, don't we? Like where people just humble themselves and understand that Especially in this situation here where we're, you know, we need people to uh, 
We need people to watch the videos. We need people to spread the word because we want more people like you to come in and watch and enjoy these products. And because I feel very passionately that this style of shaving has been such a bright spot in my life. I've made lifelong friends and I want other people to have the experience that I've had, you know. Now, I hope they'll go through the positive experience and not the negative years, <laughs> but um, I want everybody to, to have an opportunity to understand how much goodness there is in this community. Now, I know sometimes people, you know, focus on the, uh, the negative, but I'm telling you, there's so much good that's going on. There's so much giving that I think, you know, that's what we should focus on, you know. Now, I think we should always have our debates about products and they can be spirited, but let's be good to each other. Let's be good brothers and sisters to one another. Let's look out for each other as best we can. And we will understand that we're not all going to be perfect all the time because surely I will not be. I will make mistakes in the future, but just know I'm committed to doing my best. And man, this has been a nice head shave while I'm chatting here. <laughs> but once again, I want to thank you all and express my most sincere um, gratitude to every single one of you. Um, and if you're new, uh, thank you as well. You know, we, we need you. Welcome. Please look around and understand I'm just one person in this hobby of which there are thousands who are there to help, who are there to be uplifting. And that's, that's our goal. I'm just one of many. So please keep that in mind. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, I know it sound like a broken record because, you know, that, that's just a message I wanted to convey today. Simple as that. So as to the shave, fantastic, as far as I can tell. Feels smooth as a cue ball, which is what I like. And I will do the post off cam, but I'm going to use when I do. This is a splash now from Heritage Hill. So they're getting ready to come up come out with splashes. I love the scent on this one. I can't remember what it is now. Um, but today it was really about you and thanking you um, sincerely. I got to tell you, you, you all, you're the best. Um, the folks who have remained here through all these years and you, new folks, um, you're just the best and I thank you so much. And uh, I hope that um, during these, this holiday season, you'll embrace the, the spirit of the holiday, which is caring, giving, being positive and enjoying each other. Let's enjoy one another. We have limited time here, folks. We have limited time. Lift somebody up today. Please, please, lift somebody up. Give them a comment on a video, social media. Um, if you're in person somewhere, shoot somebody a smile, open the door for them. That is the way. It is the way, believe me. You'll be so much happier if you just embrace this. I am a good example of this and it requires work. But I'm doing the work every single day, and I hope you will join me in this. Thank you so much. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Till next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, let's lift some people up today. Thank you. God bless.